do both. We'll do we'll do both. And we'll do this. We'll do a story time. So each person tell a, a dark side of men nature that you saw. Mm. We'll, we'll let Andrew start off first. All right. Oh, so probably, shit. so probably the weirdest guy we ever had was a lawyer, and he was a lawyer in New York. Who's from New York? Oh, the uh, Jenny from the block. She's, <laughs> from New York. She's from New York. So we had a lawyer from New York, and this guy, man, you know what the thing about webcam? It kind of worried me about the world because when you see how police officers. The doctors, surgeons, yeah. lawyers, Thanks. you see what they're doing when they're at home with their money? You don't trust any of them anymore. So now if I ever have to have surgery, I'm looking at them up and down like, motherfucker, you're a fucking cam. You know, <laughs> you know so I don't trust none of them. So this guy was a lawyer, right? What, what year was this? This was So this, people kind of have an yeah, idea. Yeah, so I got into the cam game early, early. This must have been probably seven, eight maybe nine years ago okay so a long time ago right, right? around 2012 yeah something like that all right, cool so ig's just popping off yeah just all that shit's new right so cam's new my girls are making a bunch of money anyway so we had a lawyer and what he used to like to do is he found one of my girls and he had this it started with a fantasy that she was his babysitter and that he would poop his pants Wow. And that she had to change him, right? So it started off very much like, hey, can you smell me? And she'd be like, yeah, you smell so bad. I, do I smell bad? And he loved it when she was like, you're disgusting. You smell so bad. You're a full grown man. What's wrong with you? Why do you smell so bad? He loved that, right? And then he got to the point where saying, I'm going to ask you to make me do things, but I want them to be completely unreasonable. And the worse they are, the more I'll pay. So she's like, all right, what? all right. I want you to wear a diaper at work. And he's like, all right. So he sends her like a thousand dollars and she wears a diaper at work. But it got to the point across a few months where she's like, I want you to wear a diaper and not, she just had to think of shit, right? She's like, I want you to wear a diaper and not change it for a week. And he'd send her 10 G's and he would actually do it. What and he'd, the... he'd wear a diaper, and not change her a week. What? Go toilet in this diaper, swear to God. And he'd try and send her pictures of it all. She wouldn't even look at them because it made her feel sick. But me and Trist, me, me and my brother would like print them out, no. put them on her bed and shit. <laughs> that, 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 you got that kind of thing. These are the kind of dudes she's talking to. So you think she's watching this and going, I can't wait to go out there to New York and get myself a nice lawyer? No. These are the lawyers of the world. It's disgusting. And then we also had another guy. Let me, let me light it up with a funny story. We had one guy who was a, who was a bad boy. We had one guy who was a pimp. Mm. Might have been you fresh. No. <laughs> no, no we no. had one guy called Paul. And Paul went to a girl and said, look, you need to buy some gummy bears. He sent her $1,000. Please buy gummy bears on a Tuesday. I remember this story. So she's like, took the grand, whatever. She bought a bunch of gummy bears. And on Wednesday, he came back and he made her put all the gummy bears down out in front. And the gummy bears was Paul and all his boys. And they all had names, Paul and Tim and his brother, Chris, and all this shit. Shout and, out to Chris. And, yeah, shout out to Chris. <laughs> and what she had to do was pick one up and pretend she was going to eat it. And he'd be like, please don't eat Chris. Don't eat Chris. That's my boy, Chris. He's my friend. Please don't eat Chris. And don't eat Chris, please, please. And he'd beg on the chat. And you'd see him on the camera, like, panicking. No, not Chris. Please, please. And she'd, like, put him on her titties and pick him up and lick, lick Chris. Lick, lick, Chris. lick his face. And eventually, 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 she'd put him in her mouth and she'd chew. And he'd, like, have a panic attack. Like, no. No, Chris. No. Right? in the camera please wow. and this would go on for hours while she slowly took his friends one by one his boss from work his vet i went all when they were all dead <laughs> only paul is left anybody please don't eat me queen please don't eat me you've eaten all my friends please uh, don't eat me don't eat me and he'd beg and beg and beg and beg don't eat me don't eat me and when she eventually she put him on the tit she licked him to that when she'd eventually start chewing paul He'd come everywhere. Oh my God. 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 And you know what? Oh my God. <laughs> and you know, listen, me and, me and, listen, me and my brother, me and my brother would be sitting there saying, Paul's a G. That is some game. I was like, if I'm going to lose one of my webcam girls to a cam guy, if I'm going to lose any of my chicks, this guy's going to take her. He's a bad boy. That's some sick game. That's, yes. Girls, don't pretend you don't want this guy. You know you want him. You know you want him. Kill me in my sleep. <laughs> All I got to say to that one is, uh, Oh, you touched my toes. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn. What? what? That was, oh, no. um, that's that's my cam story. Yeah. I, got, I got more, but that's enough. That's and, um, and, and, you know, honestly, that, that, was, that was a great story. And that segues perfectly into what I was going to say here, which is basically what I've come to realize is this. <laughs> Pornography and sex work makes women hate men. And prostitution makes men hate women. And the reason why is because men are paying their money, a.k.a. providing their security to some degree, their financial security, 
to get sexual access. And on the other flip side, the woman is providing her sexual access to that man in exchange for some temporary security. So it, it both parties are getting what they want, like from a carnal level, but it's not real. Yeah. So so it, it makes sense that the two the two genders are like gonna hate each other when they participate in this thing. Because I've noticed guys, you know, if we flip it, that have sex with a lot of prostitutes have like this incredibly uh, strong disdain for women. Yeah, they like, hate, they, they, hate women, they bro. fucking hate them, bro. Because you're seeing the worst side of female hypergamy. You're literally paying her, she's starfishing you, and then you bang and then she leaves. And you're like, okay, you didn't, you didn't get to enjoy, right? The 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 nice side of female nature, you know, the comforting, the soothing voice, uh, the you cooking, up? the cleaning, you her, her giving a shit about you to some level, right? Like you don't enjoy that. You're just getting the one thing that you really want from her, which is the sex that she's leaving. Makes you feel some type of way, right? And then the woman on the other end, right? She's getting just the money from you. She's not getting that security. She's not getting that masculine energy. She's not getting that protection. She's not getting nothing. She's getting that money temporarily. So she's going to have some disdain for you. So it's kind of funny to see the two genders almost have this, this tug of war and hate each other when they participate in the sex industry from different spectrums. Yeah, my, 